Welcome back to Jamie and Julia. I'm Jamie, and with me as always is Julia Child. Oh! <laughs> bon appétit. Let me bring you up to speed. I'm just an ordinary guy trying to get better at cooking, teaching myself new recipes, new skills, new techniques, and I'm following along to this cookbook. Mastering the Art of French Cooking from Julia Child. I pick recipes, recipes I've never made before, and I make them. I never know what I'm in for, if they're easy or if they're difficult. Now today we're gonna make La Reine de Sabah, which is this chocolate almond cake. It's Julia Child's favorite chocolate cake, as she refers to it as the Queen of Sheba, which I don't know what that means. This cake is named after the Queen of Sheba. It's the first French cake that Julia Child ever ate, and she loved it. So before you begin the cake, preheat the oven 350. Prepare the cake tin as in the following directions. Butter, floured, measure out all your ingredients first. So I need to make a double boiler, boiling some hot water, knead a bowl, thank you, on top. Water's boiling. That needs to melt. Add two tablespoons of coffee or rum. I wish I had rum, I don't. So I use uh, two tablespoons of coffee. Emulsify, emulsify. Mixing together any sort of liquid with chocolate is always a pain in my ass, but today um, we mix together easily and beautifully and we can move on now. Cream the butter and the sugar together for several minutes. That sounds like a job for the silver fox. Paddle attachment, on you go. That's a quarter pound of sugar, quarter pound of butter. And if the butter gets stuck on the paddle attachment like that, poke it out. Butter is room temperature, I forgot to mention. Pale, yellow, fluffy. Three egg yolks into the mix and mix until well combined. Beat the egg whites and salt in a separate bowl. Thank you. Switcheroo, three egg whites, in you go. Whisk attachment. Beat this until it reaches soft peaks. Faster. I do have a sneaking suspicion that I over whipped this. That is not soft peaks. That is a cloud mountain. Let's try again. Three more egg whites. I forgot this step last time. A pinch of salt. Let's mix this. So I'm at the soft peak stage. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of sugar. I need this at stiff peaks. Stiff peaks. Thank you for your service. The chocolate into the butter sugar mixture. So it's all combined like that. Stir in almonds. Uh oh. Pulverized almonds. Uh oh. Page 618. Uh oh. So I gotta do something really quickly, like really quickly. This is something you do at the very beginning of the episode, but somehow I missed it. I have to pulverize almonds and like make them into like an almond flour. I need to blanch them in boiling hot water for a minute, take the skin off, take the skin off, and then I gotta roast them in the oven for five minutes. Two ounces of almonds go in, one minute. Quickly, 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 quickly. Drain them, I'm assuming. Dry the almonds. Squeeze each almond between the thumb and your forefinger and the almond will slip out of its skin. Oh! The egg whites have already been whipped up to stiff peaks, so this had to be done yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna roast these for five minutes in the preheated oven. Oh, I missed one. Oh. The electric liquidizer. Roasted almonds. Pulverize. So back to my cake batter. There's two ounces of pulverized almonds. Fold it in, people. Fold it in. My almond flour is a bit chunkier than most almond flours, but that's 
quarter teaspoon of almond extract, but I bought this specifically for this cake and I feel like that's not enough, so I'm gonna just use a little pinch for good luck. These egg whites have been sitting for far too long, but I'm gonna fold in a quarter. I, I don't know if that's stiff peaks anymore. It might not be, but sift in one quarter of the flour. I'm using just plain all-purpose flour. The recipe said cake flour. I don't have it, so I'm just gonna use this. It's sifted though, so like a quarter of it. Fold that in, and then I just continue folding everything until I run out of stuff. Egg whites, flour, more egg whites, the rest of the flour into the cake tin, flat as it can be. Uh, where's my baby? I love a good offset spatula. Let's go to town, flatten that out. Middle rack of the oven for how long? For 25 minutes. And enjoy the leftover batter. Poke your toothpick into the cake. It should come out clean, but the toothpick should be oily. Check. And the center should be a bit more, uh, how did she phrase it? It should move just slightly, which I don't know. It's hard to tell. This cake is done. So that took around 20 minutes, not 25. I'm gonna leave this cake in the tin for like 10 minutes so it cools and bada bing. This needs to cool completely, like another hour. I think I'm just gonna secretly put it in the fridge. It speeds up the process. Okay, so what I need next are, uh, well I did, the, I, I roasted some more almonds. Uh, I need a, like a cutting board. The small one will do. I need to sliver these, which I'm just, guess out. Let them cool first. You can sliver your own almonds. We're gonna make some chocolate icing. Double boiler, two ounces of chocolate. Okay, it is a really good thing I still have more coffee. A tablespoon of coffee. If I had rum, I'd use rum. I wish I had rum, but I have uh, the coffee. Okay, once that chocolate's melted, off it goes. And add in two ounces of butter. Make sure all the packaging is off the butter. Mix that in until that butter has melted. Beat over cold water until chocolate mixture is cool. Oh, I need a bowl. There's cold water in my salad bowl. So until it's a spreading consistency. Cake has cooled completely onto my plate. I was following the recipe exactly, but this icing is not as much as I thought. But then again, this cake isn't very thick, is it? Icing on the cake. So you know the drill, just spread the icing. Okay, cover the top first and then worry about the edges last. So I got dual action offset spatula going on right now. Scrape off icing from one offset spatula to the other. Flat as you can get it on the very top. Ooh, that's nice. Keep doing that. Quick like a bunny, I have all these slivered almonds and I'm gonna just stick them to the side. Mm. It's a very lovely cake. That's what it is, it's a lovely tasting cake. It tastes like a bit of a brownie, but like a bit like a chocolate lava cake with almonds all up in it. It's very nice. A lot of things going for this cake, mostly how easy it was to make it. Also, I mean, it looks very dense, but it was not. It's very light tasting. And I like how like flat it looks because ordinary cakes are like up to here. And then my cakes I usually make are like up to here. So it's like down there. So that slice I had was the perfect amount of cake. So if you follow the recipe exactly, this is what you're gonna get. There's no frills, no strings attached. I love it. Shout out to my patrons up on the screen. You can see them scrolling by. They're helping out big time. And if you're curious about Patreon, you wanna sign up yourself, it's linked in the description along with like my social media links, um, the link for this cookbook, merch, merch links, whatever you need, it's down in the description. Uh, also, um, no, no also, that's it. This was Jamie and Julia, bon appetit. See you soon.